Hey guys, Burton's back and we're in the middle of a battle here. Uh, King in the North, Rob is fighting, he's been separated from his men in battle and uh, now we've got the option to fight against Victorian. We're gonna go for it, the King in the North does not flee. Prepare to die, Greyjoy scum. You turn to face Lord Victorian and he breaks his charge and flees. You pursue but lose track of him in the chaos. So. Victorian and his horse has seen King Rob and his direwolf and he's turned and run. That's right, cowards run all the way back to Pike. Fantastic. That's worked out okay because Victorian against me, he's actually the better fighter, he's much stronger. Edmund's coming up from the south, which is great. In that case, we're going to head north, reclaim these lands. Shouldn't be long now before we can end that battle. Uh, the Greyjoys aren't what are concerning us, it's these guys down here. They are ruining the Riverlands, it's a field of fire right now. While we're reclaiming lands we're going to have to try and make a treaty of some sort with someone because our odds are against us right now. As you can see, the Vale have now joined the King, so potentially that means Stormlands or Dawn. Let's see who we've got here who we can potentially make some sort of treaty with. In the Stormlands, it's good old Renly. Renly has uh, married Brienne the Maid, Brienne of Tarth. What's uh, <laughs> what happened there? Did Joffrey. No, Joffrey's still with Sansa. She's right, okay. So where is Marjorie then? Oh Marjorie has died of the plague. That's no good. However, my mother survived the plague. Go figure. There's no killing Lady Stoneheart. In Sunspear, where is Ariane? Ariane has gotten married to Roland Storm, which is fine, that'll keep the lifeline going of their country. Um, we are not very good. Storm's ends against us anyway. Sunspear, however, is not. Let's improve diplomatic relations with Sunspear. Let's see if we can get some sort of. Uh... Oh, we can't get any marriage right now. It's only Northerners who will actually marry the King in the North. <laughs> Let's see what we've got up here. We've got some righteous imprisonment. Let's just take care of these known plots first. Um, nothing major. We'll also resolve all of them. Prisoners, how are we doing on money? 152, so not too bad right now. We do have Willem if we can get rid of him. Oh, well, we can't. Jamie. His dad still doesn't want to pay for him. Which is us considering. Gawain of the Crag. They still cannot afford him. Okay. Let's reclaim the lands of the north. And uh, then we'll try and end this Greyjoy war as quick as we can. Speaking of which, that's a good point. Where is she? There she is. Asha is not married. That is a possibility. If we can end this war, perhaps we can turn them. Do we want to though? That is the question. Theon's already betrayed us. Could we trust his sister? I very much doubt it. But in times of war, we have to uh, make alliances. The army's marching north again. 13,000 of them. To our surprise, the Freys just uh, had a very small force defeated there. Victory. 
castles um, can sleep easy again at night, they've got the land back. In the meantime, King in the North, we're up in Pine Seeds, uh, helping out the Liddells, and then we're going to go on to Crow's Edge and we're going to help out the Wolves. So it's about this time right now where we need to start thinking of certain things about our heirs. Now we do have Brandon, Brandon is about, uh, he's still in Winterfell as is good old Rickon. Um, so they've been found, which is perfectly fine. Arya, um, Arya's still missing. So it's a question of where Ari is and obviously John. John has uh, taken the vow and is at the Night's Watch. Now this is interesting. Just as we get rid of these guys, there's a fleet approaching. approaching. 16 galleys, so it can't be too many of them. Um, let's see what it brings. They might attack Bear Island. And so they have. Okay, the Ironborn threat is pretty much at an end. Hopefully right now we'll be able to go ahead and offer them a white piece. And we'll disband Edmure, we don't need him up here. He's going to be needed in the Riverlands fairly soon. As for Rob, he's going to continue and just win back the lands that we lost. We're going to send our ships up to Rob so he can easily get down. One of the concerns I've got right now is right now we have one, two, three, four, five. Well, we have five armies beseeching the Riverlands. Problem with that is war score, even though it's only 14%, 59% of that is reoccupation. So these four, if they take that land, could easily push that up to 100% and the war's over. So what I'm going to do now is just see if we can get any Riverlanders. <gasps> Yes, we can. We've got 10,000. And we'll put it under the command of Overfrey, Roderick, and we'll have Ossulf. So they're pretty much going to have to try and take care of these guys. At least until King Robs can get down. Big as the fault right now because right now we've got 600 men too many. Let's just combine these, get rid of 600 men. There we go, that will do. You guys are going to be the wardens of the north, so to speak. War score steadily going up now. There we go, we've got peace with Balon, which is excellent. Just need to hurry up up here now. We'll be on them in no time. Blackmail whoever that was. Ships have arrived. Rob is getting on the boats. These guys are currently running away from us. We're going to get caught here. Going to need some maneuvering, so to speak. We need to get Rob and that down as quick as possible. This is a, it's a bit much, a bit much for us to deal with here. Now if we can somehow get round these guys in time for Rob to get round. We've 
Right. <laughs> okay, so let's uh, pause it here. We've got three conversion armies. We've got Bale here. Good old Damon. And Sir Ill and Payne, all of which are after us right now. My only hope is if Rob can get down here, we can farm up. We can use the modifier that you can see here, which I've used before, to try and take out this vast army. Providing that my uncle doesn't get caught. Oh sorry, that Olva doesn't get caught. Rob has arrived. Excellent. Things just got looking better. This Lannister host is going to get a shock. And what do you know? An army of Freys have just attacked the Lannisters. So the Freys are proven to be okay with us right now. Excellent. The sooner we get these two together the better. Here we go. Right, where's Rob? There you are. Howland as always. John, you're still there my friend. We're gonna march on Blackwood. Where the army of Lord Damon awaits us. The other army is unaware, so Ilan is going the wrong way. This could turn it all for us. In the meantime, Stone Alliance is available for me. Oh, they want us to lower Crown Authority. Um, I don't have time for this, so. We'll implement it for now. Come back to it when the war's over. So here we are. For the good of the Riverlands, for the good of the war score, we need to win this battle. And given that we outnumber them, we should do it quite nicely. Let's pause, have a quick look. So we do have, yeah, it's Damon Vashmark, Tion Frey. Davin of the Westlands, so they shouldn't pose much of a trouble. We are none but them on both flanks and in the centre as well. Uh, we've done okay with the shield balls. This is a problem. 14,000 men. Sir Ilan's army have found out they're converging on us, as well as Lord Devon's. Ah, oh, there's just too many. This is ridiculous. Can we win this in time? Nope. So right now we're fighting against all the odds. It looks like there are just too many of them for us to beat. Perhaps... What do you think? Uh, does not marry an infidel. Fair enough. Not a lot we can do with that, unfortunately. I'm surprised with the Arons, though. I really thought the Arons would be on our side, but hey, what do you know? We could offer peace to Joffrey, but you know what? No, we're not going to do that. <laughs> so what I'll do is, I'll leave us in this little cliffhanger. We'll see how we get on next episode. Thanks for watching, everyone.